What's going on guys? So in today's video, you may have recognized my special guest from last year. Who are you? Hello, I'm Michael and I'm so happy that we are here. We're doing this again. Yeah, by this time we're actually doing it in person. Mm -hmm. So Michael was actually on my channel last year where I actually sent him some fragrances from Greggy Boy's website. Uh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Fragrance Samples UK or something like that. But we're actually here in Atlanta. You always say I that. know. <laughs> But we're actually here in Atlanta, and because Michael, your your fashion is a little bit different. Uh -huh. It's a little artistic, if you will. Uh -huh. I'm actually gonna get Michael to smell the house of zoologist. Now, a lot of you guys are very familiar that zoologist is an artistic type of house. They produce some very different fragrances, and I think that Michael. I think that this house would actually suit your personality okay. and your tastes, okay? Okay. So the thing with zoologists is that they all have different animals mm -hmm. on their products. Mm -hmm. So I got every single fragrance from their catalog, so mm -hmm. I think I've got 12 or 13 here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the smell and rate and where you choose which one is the ultimate winner, alright? Let's do this. Alright, so the first one, since I got two here, the first one is going to be Macaque. So it's just a little monkey there. But show us also what's inside. It was inside. It got some graphics as well. And yeah. So the, it's this, actually a beautifully designed product. That's why one. So it's show. a very different. Uh, the 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 presentation on these are fantastic. They produce some really good scents, but it's an acquired taste. Mm. Uh, a taste that it's not really for me, but a lot of people really do like this. Now, okay. So this is. Macaque, all right, mm -hmm. so you got oh, that one. Oh Jesus, that's strong. Okay, and all of these are perfume concentration, so well, eau what de does that, mean? What does so, that mean? So you got eau de cologne, eau de toilette, which is your normal, mm -hmm. then you got this. Wow, then this you got, is strong. Okay. Very masculine, very strong. It actually, a bit, sort of, okay. And then we're gonna put pair it off against camel. Okay. All right. Oh. Wow, but Mm. And I got test strips for these because a lot of people are saying that the tissue that I use is not good enough. Oh, okay. okay so, camel versus macaque. Oh, jeez, that's which a lot one? sweeter. This is apparently this is a, a a really good seller for my friend Victor. This is the winner. Okay, so so that's out. Okay, gets knocked out. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can wear that. All right. Wow. Oh, I'm I just, excited about this. I, I got editing to do, so uh, let me. Cut it's okay. It. All right, so the next fragrance is actually going to be Hummingbird. Okay. All right, so most of these are all unisex, mm -hmm. but some may be female fragrances. Now, this is actually the last one that I did for my channel, and this was actually my favorite from the entire house. Okay, so Hummingbird versus Camel. Which one do you prefer? Uh, I think it smells similar to a Hugo Boss of some sort from wow. a few years ago. Okay, I never would have thought of that. Um, I remember it must have been at least five years ago when I... Okay, yeah, because I'm familiar with this. But which one do you prefer? Do you prefer yeah. the camel think, or do you prefer the hummingbird? I think I... I'm, I because this is new, the camel is new. Okay. Hummingbird is, I think... Yeah, it kind of smells familiar. Would your wife like to, like this? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay, all yes. right. I think yeah, you ask women, they're gonna have different perceptions of, of like you know Very people true. that have this and you know we're masculine. Very true. So this yeah. is actually the first release from the house. Okay. And that is Beaver. Beaver. Okay. I believe this is the first release the of the house. The, the, the Beaver. Yeah. Okay. Let's not go back. Canada's yeah. national animal, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so be, have, you, have you actually tested them all and tried them? All um, most, so the last one I tried was Hummingbird and that was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, as I stated, the company is not really towards my tastes. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I personally cannot pull them off. But a lot of people in the community, our fragrance community, love these fragrances. They're just not according to my tastes. This They're is, not bad, I just, I, I'm not crazy. This smells artificial, very sort of 
like lots of chemicals in it. I know you said it's, it's okay. not, but that's how it sort of smells like. It smells... What I'm getting is I'm definitely getting that animalistic feel from mm. that. Now, I don't know mm. if this is the reformulated version because the, 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 the original version had castorium. Mm -hmm. So you know what castorium is? Mm. I think you mentioned that before. It's the, the gland of a beaver's butt. Mm. So, Which is... But they, they, Victor made, reformulated it and made it a lot more fresher and appealing. So I don't know if this is the reformulated version or not. I think it's okay in the sense that you can still put it off, but if I, if I smell someone wearing this in the shopping mall, I'll be like, well, I think he's, I think he should change his fragrance. Okay, so I'm assuming now that Camel's going on to the next one. Yes. All right then. I need to check again with Camel. Yes. <laughs> All right. Amazing, right? So let's open up this package. We'll wait for those ones there. Okay. So what have we got? Are there like different animals because of like different sort of? Okay. So, so, so Victor. So Victor uh, loves animals. Mm -hmm. So zoologist. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's after the zoo. Mm -hmm. So they're all based on animal mm -hmm. products. So this one here is going to be rhinoceros. All right, so that's presentation here. I, I, I love the presentation. What's this sort of story? Does it tell like how what you'd expect from? Yeah, from it, it, it gives like a little storyline behind each one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I Michael actually has a pack, of, an unopened pack of zoologists that I already gave. So. Oh, oh my god. this is. I smell it. Oh my god. Oh. Do you like it? This is super strong, but like that it is. you would have to have a one puff and you would be like done. This thing, this is a masculine fragrance. Wow. But do you like it? It's hard. It's hard to say because I can I can think from one point um, part of me saying this is like strong masculine, I'm going somewhere, boom, I'm gonna you know Yes. Like a, win something. Like a testosterone yeah. male. Shit. Um, and the camel is yeah, it's very much like nice, you know, everyone likes you kind of thing. Whereas this one is they, they either like you or they don't. But there's something about it because um, it also reminds me of like, you know, mechanic shop or some sort of re car repair shop. Okay. Um, which is, okay. you know, which is that, that sort of smell. But like in, in, in the packages, wow. they have the, uh, the notes written down, so. No, can no? Okay, all right then. Oh my God, that was strong. So like, let's. What, what, what made it so strong? Like, what was like? What's um, well, ingredient? there's different. Like, okay, so um, the hummingbird had more floral notes, mm -hmm. honey, had some fruits, mm -hmm. and the rhinoceros had like tobacco. It had rum. Uh -huh. It had uh -huh. maybe some incense. So okay. I'm not sure, but it definitely had like a woozy core to it, along with some leather. But this one in here is Nightingale. So this one here, uh, the perfume is actually going to be a little bit stronger. So this is an extra de pattern. So you have, Which is what? it's a higher, I believe it's a higher concentration of uh, oil. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, you got your- So does that basically mean uh, for, for me and for all uneducated people, um, that it's going to last longer? Yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not like some people will, like, okay, so some people, mm. as an example, will get 15 hours of this, mm. and some people will get maybe four hours. So mm. everybody's skin chemistry is uh, different. Sure. All right? So do you oh. like Nightingale, or do you like the camel? Um, what does it smell like? It smells familiar. What is that smell? Like, I can smell some notes in it. Um, it reminds me of um, of a good night's sleep. That's what it. That's what it. That's that's what it sort of brings. As if you would wear that during for the evening or for night okay. out or things like that. You you come home. You Don't mind the noise. We're actually at Mentalential, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so which one no, was on? Camel. Okay. <laughs> camel, All right, then. camel is muddy. All right, so we're gonna pair it off against elephant. Elephant, right? strong. Let's see. Yeah, well, just by the name of it, you you. Yeah, you'd you'll expect. Yes, with some of these uh -huh. names, you could kind of assume whether it's gonna be more of a gentle, subtle fragrance or if it's gonna be more of a masculine type of scent. So oh. elephant, or or. Uh, right. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
by smell and sense and um, like cucumber kind of uh, um, tastes in a uh, very sort of uh, I would say veggie kind of taste. It's, it's, a, it's a you get the green. So uh, according to this, tree leaves, Darjeeling tea, and magnolia would be the top ones. So you're definitely getting that green. Wow! Wow! Why do you, Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> but camel or elephant? Elephant is good, but you kind of feel as if you are eating sort of kale salad all day long. Okay. Yeah. So which one was camel. that? One? Camel stays. Okay. All right then. <laughs> so. <laughs> You should have, you, yeah, we should have not started with camel. So uh, let's go with mm -hmm. civet. Okay. So uh, I'm not saying anything about yeah, this not one. The, yeah, okay. But I've seen some of the videos and <laughs> you may be in for a surprise, you may not be, all right? Okay, okay, okay. 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 So civet. Oh, that's, that's again. They are all so fundamentally different, you know? Those. Yes. Yes. Wow. Every every fragrance has its own story, has mm. has its own theme, and these are very unique, very interesting, um, very artistic. You like it? It's uh, it's different, you know. It's different. But you smell, smell this one. This is camel, right? Yeah. And it's super sweet, super nice. It, sort of, kind of. It has more safe. It's, it's, yes, that's a very good word to to explain. Whereas this one is intriguing. I'd go for this one. Camel goes. Okay, so since it finally got knocked out, uh, I believe Victor said that this is one of his best sellers at the moment. So because it's it's actually intriguing. The, the smell of it is kind of. Um, you don't know where to put it, whether it's it's sort of night, whether it's, whether it's winter, whether it's summer, whether it's night, whether it's day. Okay. You'll definitely notice if someone is wearing this, you'll be like, okay, okay, I, I, you know, who's this guy? Who's, who's, who's wearing this? It's right very now? distinct. So the next one is actually going to be Panda. So we have three left, including this one. Okay. All right. I wonder how this tiny room that we're here in, I was going to smell like when we opened it again. We were like, know. what are we doing here? It's all we we, we close the door. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe with any luck, Aaron Marina will will come in. And he's like, okay, what the hell, guys? <laughs> right. Oh, this is very peachy. Okay. I, I don't know. That's that's me. You you get a fruity new one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but this is. You could probably buy this elsewhere from someone else. Easily, and you would not know that that's their smell. Like, okay, maybe. because it's because it's kind of again safe, common. Yeah, okay, I would say okay. But you prefer the the sedex. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely. All right, so panda gets knocked out, and the last two. Let's go with this. This event is is just different. Like guys, what? dragonfly. Dragonfly. Okay. Now a lot of these, I will admit, I have never smelled before. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, just because the fragrances are not to my taste, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they're very unique, very different. Doesn't mean they're bad. They're just—it's not something that I can pull off myself. So, dragonfly or civet? Which one do you prefer? Dragonfly um, smells like nothing. Like it doesn't. Okay, and, and, and mind you, and mind you, you're just getting like a very first impression, so you mm. have to let it dry down for like a good thirty minutes type of thing. Yeah, but, but we don't have the time for that. Correct, and it's uh, and also, I mean, you obviously spray it on yourself. You have to yes. when, when you when you walk about. That's probably going to change as well on yes. you, and, and obviously. Well, and what smell like it smells great on you, but smells bad on me. Mm. So it really is your skin. Yeah, country. the dragonfly is okay. Nothing spectacular. All right, so Sivet. And the last one, right? So the last one is gonna be bat. Okay. So so it's bats or cements. So bat versus. Who would win that? Who would win that fight in Ooh. the real life? Who knows? I'm not sure if that's clean. So let's just get this one. I need to keep smelling the cement just so I remember how it smells like. Okay. Because we already have so much going on here. So before we get mm -hmm. to see who the winner is. Mm -hmm. I gotta hold up. Oh, wow. 
I know. This one is very different. All right. So the winner, which one is the best from the house of zoologist? Civet or bat? Bats. Bat is the winner. Now, why do you like this one? And it's, I smell it. I smell it right now. Yeah, I, I think Sibet is, 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 is literally inches away from, from winning. But, okay. But I but think Bat has got, it has got something, you know, I think it has got like a deeper sort of taste to it in a, in a way that Sibet you can, you can sort of smell like one note in it, like, okay, this is that, whatever that is. Okay. Whereas, whereas in, the, in, in the Bats you can kind of have got edges around it. So now, you've got like mo more notes, I would say. So with this one here, it actually is supposed to smell like a bat cave. You get the, the wet dirt, the soil. It, you know what? The banana. It makes sense. Yeah. So the top notes for this one would be like banana. You get soft fruits. You get damp earth. Uh, hard is fig. Tropical fruits. I forget who, who created this. But the people who created this and Victor, I will admit, are geniuses when it comes to perfume or they know their stuff uh, the house is just not for me but they like creativity wise, creativity wise they are one of the best I mean the whole package is the whole story oh, and, and the presentation and the themes are I've never seen something like that and I'm actually happy to call Victor a friend of mine he's actually mm. from Toronto Canada mm. so. hello Victor thank you so much for giving me a chance to he's, smell it he's gonna enjoy the package that He's got it. Thank so. you so much. So the winner's bat? Bat. All right. So Michael, thank you very much Chance for doing this video. Pleasure. So thank what I'm so going to do is I'm going to attach all of Michael's social media down below. So Michael's channel uh, caters to fashion, which I could probably use a little bit of an upgrade myself. But we'll take care of bat, <laughs> So guys, thank you for your time. Take care and we'll see you later. Thank you.